Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for Friday, June 10. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, we're in volume 3. Our hymn today is on page 937. Antiphon Psalms and reading begin at 941. Christian prayer book is hymn 82. Readings antiphons and begin at 835. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. children by adoption pleasing to his grace O most holy trinity undivided unity holy God mighty God God immortal be adored a humble contrite heart O God you will not spurn. Have, Have mercy on me, God, God in your kindness. kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offerings from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A humble, contrite heart, O oh God, you will not spurn. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassions. O Lord, o Lord, I have heard your renown, and fear, O Lord, your work. 
in the course of the years revive it, in the course of the years make it known. In your wrath remember compassion. God comes from Timan, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with His glory, and with His praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine forth from beside Him, where His power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles at the sound, my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossoms not, nor fruit be on the vines. Though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment. Though the blacks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exult in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds, and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise you, God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The water are frozen at his touch. He sent forth his word and it smells them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his sword known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near through the blood of Christ. It is he who is our peace and who made the two of us one by breaking down the barrier of hostility that kept us apart. In his own flesh, he abolished the law with its commands and precepts to create in himself one new man from us who had been two and to make peace reconciling both of us to God in one body through his cross which put the enmity to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our reading today deals primarily with reconciliations. 
it discusses humanity's condition to sin our state of separation with our God because of sin our interpersonal relationship have been damaged we speak harshly to each other we judge each other we gossip about each other we argue with each other consciously or unconsciously we always are in constant battle with each other mostly with the people we love our brothers our sisters our friends our family of god today saint paul tells us that what god has done to bring peace to our relationship he gave us his son jesus jesus suffered bled and died for us so he can take our sins upon himself that gives us the ability to reconcile with God. Jesus broke down the barrier of hostility that kept us apart. Jesus put enmity to death by rising from death. He made it possible for us to return to the Father. Loving our fellow man, especially the least ones, reconciles us with God, the Father. The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need, I shall cry out to Him. The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need, I shall cry out to Him. May He send His strength to rescue me. In need, I shall cry out to Him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need, I shall cry out for Him. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us adore Christ, who offered himself to the Father through the Holy Spirit to cleanse us from the works of death. Let us adore Him and call upon Him with sincere hearts. In, In your, your will, will is our peace, Lord. Lord. From your generosity, we have received the beginning of this day. Grant, Grant us also the beginning of new life. You created all things, and now 
you provide for their growth. May we always perceive your handiwork in creation. With your own blood, you ratified the new and eternal covenant. May we remain faithful to that covenant by following your precepts. On the cross, blood and water flowed from your side. May this saving stream wash away our sins and gladden the city of God. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, In, In your, your will, will is our, our peace, peace, Lord. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our oh, Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, powerful Father, as now we bring you our songs of praise, so may we sing your goodness in the company of your saints forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.